Okay, so I'm making this video to hopefully save a few of you guys from um, having to buy uh, replacement hybrid batteries or 12 volt batteries. Um, I went recently went on a long trip uh, about two weeks and then I haven't been driving my car for a while even after I got back. Um, I read the manual but I forgot all about it and didn't really think about it. Um, but it says here if you do not use your vehicle uh, for a long time, two weeks or more, that the hybrid battery and auxiliary battery will discharge and can pretty much go bad. So if you can, try and get someone to start up your car and let it charge up for, it says about 30 minutes uh, every two weeks or so. Um, so what I found, um, because I've been, I had this car for a while, it's been pretty good. Um, I've had a few issues. Um, pedal went bad um so i would be driving and all of a sudden uh the hybrid system would stop working and i'd have i'd just be running on the engine and i'd get like that i don't know if you can see it but next to the numbers you see a giant triangle i can probably show you by starting the car and opening the front door but uh basically let's see here basically i would get that that big triangle thing and then um it wouldn't show well, well you can see this warning too is cool but um it wouldn't show that warning it would actually show a um a um like triangle and then just show like a picture of like a car with an exclamation on it and some battery and other thingies on here but um basically uh if you leave your car too long you haven't driven it um i came back and drove my car was okay but it was hot, so I was running the AC, um, like, max, and I had, like, a little, um, portable freezer running, so it pulled too much power, and then, um, as I was driving, this screen just, like, slowly, like, faded, and it, like, it was fading in and out, and then all of a sudden, the car lost power, and I couldn't drive, um, so the, the way you can fix that, um, if you've already driven it to that point, and it, shut off the screen and everything and had the warning um what you're going to want to do is hopefully you're pulled over somewhere safe but um shut off the car wait several minutes um after that if you can start the car um start the car and then um switch this screen to this energy mode um so that way you can see it and what you do is just hold on the brakes start the car up and when you start the car you'll see here that the arrows are actually going into the battery. So you'll see like the battery's kind of low right now. Um, if your hybrid battery is really low, it's gonna be even lower than this. Um, but basically just have your car running in this mode for a while, keep your foot on the brake and just let that run. If you can turn off any electronic things like the, that, like the AC, unplug anything from your um, cigarette lighting port if you can turn off any lights um, if you're in an emergency situation you probably still want to keep on your emergency lights though but turn off all the other stuff so just keep letting that run just like that um, eventually after a while you'll see that um, this will basically all these arrows will disappear so it should be happening soon see but yeah basically run this until you see that it's no longer putting power into the battery once that happens just shut off your car and then you can wait a while um, if you need to get somewhere then um, you can try driving away after you get it charged up like this for a bit um, don't um, uh, monitor this make sure to monitor this and as you drive try to avoid having the arrows from the battery going into the tires if you see it's going that way either like put a little more gas into it or um or let off the pedal completely so that the arrows go back into the battery because if the hybrid battery is low and you try and use the hybrid battery it's gonna push it beyond the point where it'll basically just um shut off the whole system again um, if you're stuck in the mode with the red triangle, because it won't show this if you're in the red triangle mode, um, if you have tools, um, what you can do is just shut off your whole car and then you'll have to disconnect the, um, the battery. 
um, just disconnect the negative cable, wait about five minutes, reconnect the, the cable, and then it should reset to where it doesn't show that triangle anymore. So if that works, then basically just do this trick, let it run, um, eventually this will, okay, the engine, so see, the engine will sound a little different and then it'll stop. So at that point, if you need to get somewhere, you can try and drive it, but make sure to drive it in a way that makes the arrows keep pushing power into the battery if you can. So usually you'll have to drive drive it a little harder than usual, kind of accelerate it hard, because if you accelerate slowly, it'll try and pull power from the battery, and you don't want to do that when the hybrid battery's low. Um, if you haven't been driving for a long time, what you can do is basically just continue um, um, doing this process. Uh, the car, once it's already warmed up, it actually won't push power into the thing. So if I were to start it now, it probably won't do it. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, actually it's going. So if you want, you can actually do this multiple times just so that the engine will charge up the battery. Um, but if it doesn't do it, you might have to shut off the car and wait several minutes um, just so that you can get some more charge into the battery. If you keep doing this, eventually this um, bar should go a little bit higher and then that's how you know it should be good to go. But see, like it stopped doing the charging much quicker now. So you can do this like multiple times and eventually um, depending how much time you have to, to do this to charge up your battery, um, you can just, um, after a couple times, drive to wherever you need to get. But make sure to watch the, the arrows and try and force it to always get the power into the battery. It'll be a little bit less efficient, but, um, I mean, it, it, it'll help fix the, the battery issue drain. Um, if doing all this doesn't, like, if you can't get it into this mode to drive, you might want to replace the 12 volt battery. Um, at first I didn't know that the hybrid battery was the issue when I had the problem, so I actually changed my 12 volt battery and Toyota had, like, a no return policy once you use it. I tested it with a battery from Walmart at first and it was working, so I thought, okay, I just need a new 12 volt battery. So I got the one from Toyota, it was super expensive. Um, I did find a compatible one on eBay, but it was after um, I already bought the Toyota one and they didn't let me return it. So I just kept that and yeah, I basically monitored those arrows, made sure it was good and, and now my car runs fine. Um, I haven't tried pushing it with the freezer and the AC on, but I have used the AC and it hasn't had any issues since. So hopefully that helps you solve the issue. Um, I'm going to show a few like little probably not known tips about this car. Um, probably everyone knows the one with the, the window where if you push it all the way down, like it clicks twice and then it'll keep rolling. And same with going up. This one's kind of having problems because my car's old, but yeah, so there you go. It goes all the way without me holding it. And then um, the one thing a lot of people might not have known is you can actually take the key and from the outside, if you go into like unlock to unlock your car and you hold it, it'll actually roll your window down. So that's another cool thing. I don't know when you would ever use that, but maybe you forgot to crack open your window before leaving the car and you wanted to do that. So that's another thing. Um, and then another thing is I always enable this, but one time I accidentally threw my keys in the trunk and closed it. So make sure if you're going to do this that you um, uh, know to... So basically this thing, the key, it has a mode where it's just halfway like this and then you can also twist it all the way. If you twist it all the way, it locks the trunk so that the um, lever inside doesn't work. So if I put it like this and then I pull this so that now opens the trunk. But if you're like going somewhere and you have valuables, you don't want people to like get in your car. Um, 
in your trunk, then you can do this. This is one thing I like about like these trunks and not the hatchbacks, even though it's not as convenient for carrying big things, but you can do that. And then when you pull this, nothing happens. So it's a very good kind of security feature. Um, and maybe some people didn't know that. So hopefully this video helped you. Um, on my car, I've done quite a bit of things where I changed out, I had to change the oil pan and clean out all the sludge because um, I hit like a, um, a bump too hard. I didn't see the dip and then it made a hole in my oil pan. Change that out. Um, I also did the transmission fluid because I've seen some videos where there's a bunch of gunk in there. Um, change that it was also pretty disgusting. So that's some maintenance tools to do. And I still get over 50 miles per gallon in this car, even though it's uh, from 2003. So it's pretty good. Um, it really depends how you drive, though. If you stick to around 55 or so, then you'll get over 50 miles per gallon, no problem. Um, if you're driving like everyone else, maybe like 70, 75, sometimes 80, 85, um, I still get around 40 40 to 45 miles per gallon so this car's pretty good um the cassette thing got screwed up though so i don't use it anymore it makes this loud buzzing sound and it's i don't know it's too much work to try and change this out so i, I just listen through my headphones or bring some bluetooth speakers um, but i used to use like this cassette audio thing with a little bluetooth adapter to um, have bluetooth and then i also found this um little backup camera thingy from Costco and I got an adapter that lets me plug in this um where's it here the little car thing and it adds a, a USB port with a switch on it so I can actually turn this thing on and off on command without even having to worry about my car being on which is cool so yeah and it works pretty well and then I got this little cell phone holder so it's like right here I don't have to look down when I use my phone and yeah fast track stuff but um yeah uh, after I had like that pedal issue with uh, the sensor in here going bad and had to change the pedal I didn't know what was causing it some people are saying like the mass airflow sensor and throttle body needed to be clean so I did all of that and then thought it solved the problem but it was more because I disconnected a fuse. I tried also changing a fuse that some people thought it would be but yeah it ended up being the pedal. So if you have problems with your car maybe I can help you figure out what it is and hopefully this video helped you. Um, if anything if you have any questions just leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you um, and yeah that's pretty much it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.